Welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I'm going to address this particular problem that I have. So when I'm locked onto a character like this, uh, when that character moves around me, so as you can see my character is turning into towards that character it's like almost sliding so as you can see now in order to maintain, the ga maintain gazing into that character my character is turning but without an animation so just automatically rotating and that doesn't look realistic so I want to solve it and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me alright so to solve that problem I'll go to my human blueprint and under the event tick I have this lock on mechanism and I am turning my character towards the locked enemy if they are if the if I if this lock on variable is on or true and if my character is ready and about these two variables I have talked before so I'm not going to talk about them anymore today so here so in order to prevent uh, that sliding and rotating I'm gonna have to I'm gonna add another pin here and I'm going to enable this rotating towards character or this locking on to the character only if my character is moving so that it wouldn't look like sliding so I can get the velocity of my character like this and let's get the vector length vector length yeah and if this is larger than zero that means if I am moving this rotation to should take place now let's check what happens and even though it solves this particular problem I'm sure it will introduce other problems <laughs> yeah now my character is not sliding and he is looking into another character only when I am moving So he's staying still, no, even if the other characters are rotating around me. But this has another problem. Because let's say if I attack these guys, so now since I am not looking at them no longer, uh, he's attacking elsewhere, not at the opponent. <laughs> So how can we solve this? So for that let's go to the attack. Mm. This is blocking. And attacking is here. okay so this is here when I attack I should uh, rotate my character towards the enemy let's try this way if the character is ready let's let's uh, snap this character's rotation towards the enemy for now later we can lerp it but for now I, let's try snapping and how it looks actually so if I add some kind of a movement here to the actor to the character then he will automatically 
turned into the enemy's direction because uh, because of this because that will make the velocity larger than zero so according to this logic he will automatically rotate so why not why shouldn't I use that and to add a little sudden movement I have implemented this uh, attack move function like this I'm adding a simple impulse so towards in the forward yeah into the forward direction so well actually the direction doesn't matter because uh, all I need is a some velocity okay so where is attack here right so let's add some attack move here with the magnitude of let's say 500 and now let's see how it looks okay there is a guy and let's face this way and attack him yes he rotated into the enemy and yeah that's better i think Okay, so that's good, and well, my electricity is gone, so that's the UPS sound. Mm. Right, electricity is back, and okay, so yeah, I added this root more attack more to the attack but uh, also for blocking I should uh, add that attack move because when I block I should rotate my character towards the closest enemy so yeah here let's add that attack move with uh, 500 so that when I am blocking, my character will be rotated into the closest enemy. Like this. Alright. So that's all I wanted to do for today. And in the upcoming episodes, I want to implement, I want to improve this system and also I want to implement a system where when I am locked into one character, if in, if he's in some, I want to use this uh, rotation or turn animations in available in mixamo animations like this so that my fighting would look more realistic and if you like to support my work you can go to patreon.com code like me link would be in the description below and you can get the membership of my patreon club and if you uh, join this open world developers tier you will have full access to the complete project files uh, and blueprints and everything and yeah and other tiers I have mentioned the benefits there as well alright see you in the next episode goodbye